third nominated play is called The Piano Lesson. Beach Broadway, and the second to win a Pulitzer Prize. Our Tony nominees, Charles S. Dutton, S. Epetha Murkison, and Rocky Carroll, assisted by Carl Gordon in August Wilson's The Piano Lesson. Where you all get that truck from? I told you it's llamas. Where you get the truck from, Lammy? I bought it. Where he get that truck from, boy, Willie? He told you he bought it. He bought it for $120. I can't say where he got that $120 from. Where you get that $120 from, Lama? I got it like you get yours. I know how to take care of money. <laughs> oh, hell. Doka got some of this good whiskey. Yeah. Don't give Lama none of this. He ain't used to good whiskey. Liable to get sick. I done had good whiskey before. Hey, Lama broke that truck so he had him a place to sleep. He down there wasn't doing no work or nothing. The sheriff looking for him. He broke that truck to keep away from the sheriff. What the sheriff looking for you for, Lama? The man don't want you to know all his business. He my company. He ain't asking you no questions. No, no, it, it wasn't nothing. It was just a misunderstanding. He you, in my house. You say the sheriff looking for him, I want to know what he looking for him for. Otherwise, you all can go back out there and be with nobody don't have to ask you nothing. It was just a misunderstanding. See, sometimes me and the sheriff, we don't think alike, so we just got crossed on each other. Might be looking for him about that truck. He might have stole that truck. Oh, we ain't stole no truck, woman. I told you Lyman bought it. Oh, boy, Willie and Lyman got more sense than to ride all the way up here in a stolen truck with a load of watermelons. That's right. Now, they might have stolen them watermelons, but I don't believe they stole that truck. Boy, Willie, when you and Lyman planning on going back? Lyman say he's staying. As soon as we sell them watermelons, I'm going on back. That's what you need to do, and you need to do it quick. Come in here disrupting the house. I don't want all that loud carrying on around here. How your people doing down there, Lyman? Oh, they all right. They still less. <laughs> I come up here to see what it's like up here. Now, boy, Willie trying to get me to go back and farm with him. Doka Sutter's brother selling the land. Say he gonna sell it to me. Mm -hmm. Now, I got one part. I sell them watermelons, get me another part. Get Bernice to sell that piano. I'll have the third part. Bernice ain't gonna sell that piano. I'm gonna talk to her. When she see I got a chance to get Sutter's land, she'll come around. Oh, you can put that thought out your mind. Bernice ain't gonna sell that piano. I'm gonna talk to her now. Oh, she been playing on it. You know she won't touch that piano. I ain't never known her to touch it since my mother died, and that's over seven years now. She say it's got blood on it. Got Maritha playing on it, though. Oh, Maritha don't need to be playing on no piano. She can play on the guitar. How much land Sutter got left? Got a hundred acres. Good land. He done sold it piece by piece. Mm -hmm. He kept a good part for himself. Now he got to give that up. His brother come down from Chicago for the funeral. Mm -hmm. He anxious to sell the land, Doka. He called me to him and say, cause of how long our family has done known each other <laughs> and how we done being good friends and all. <laughs> Say he wanted to sell the land to me. Mm -hmm. Say he'd rather see me with it than Jim Stovall. Told me he let me have it for $2,000 cash money. Now he don't know I found out the most Stovall would give him for it was $1,500. He tried to get that extra $500 out of me, telling me he's doing me a favor. Now, I thanked him just as nice, <laughs> told him what a good man Sutter was, and how he had my sympathy and all. I told him to give me two weeks. He said he'd wait on me. That's why I come up here, sell them watermelons, get Bonnie to sell that piano, put them two parts with the part of them saved. Oh, Doka, I walk in there, tip my hat, lay my money money down on the table, get my deed, and walk on out. <laughs> this time, I get to keep all the cotton. Hire me some men to work it for me. Gin my cotton, get my seed, and I'll see you again next year. Oh, Doka, I might plant me some tobacco and some oats. <laughs>